I'm Nancy Friedrich, Editor-in-Chief of Electronic Design. I'm here today with Jay McSherry, our contributing editor, who every year conducts our salary survey over the summer and then compiles all the results, reveals the trends that he's seeing, and creates an article for us. Jay, could you tell us a little bit about what this year's salary revealed in, t- in terms of concerns and issues that engineers are currently facing? Mm-hmm. Well, this year marks the 10th anniversary of Electronic Design's annual salary opinion survey, and it comes at a time when engineers are finding themselves under immense pressure as a number of market factors are conspiring to undermine their ability to maintain the income levels and standard of living that they're accustomed to. For example, this year's high unemployment has finally caught up with the engineering profession, which until now has remained relatively insulated from the 7 to 8 percent jobless rates that we've seen in many other industries over the past couple of years. On top of that, salaries have stalled out this year as globalization continues to put downward pressure on wages. And according to our survey, employers are being stingier than ever when it comes to serving up the stock options and bonuses and other perks that engineers are accustomed to seeing. As you know, this fall, Congress will resume its debate on an immigration bill that will include a plan to increase the number of H-1B visas available for foreign workers in the U.S. And as the prospect for more potential job holders being imported into the country looms, Many OEMs are also stepping up the outsourcing of engineering work to offshore locations. So suddenly, engineers are feeling squeezed on all sides. Right now, there just isn't enough oxygen in the economy to fuel the kind of recovery that would really heat up the engineering job market. So it appears we're heading into some pretty interesting times for U.S. engineers. Thanks, Jay. That was a great summary. Um, But certainly, there also have been positives, right? It's Mm -hmm. not all bleak, so... Can you tell us about some of the positive angles? Yeah, surprisingly, engineers seem to be suffering the the slings and arrows of of the turbulent economy with a fairly positive attitude. After all, engineering remains a well-paid profession, uh, with average total compensation topping six figures still. And the job satisfaction levels uh, remain pretty high across the industry. And let's face it, engineers become engineers because that's who they are. So perhaps, uh, not surprisingly, the number of engineers who say they would recommend engineering as a profession is as high as it's ever been. And that's probably because we're living in a time when engineering has never been more important. From mobile devices in the hands of more people on the planet, to intelligence being embedded into manufactured products at an unprecedented rate, engineering solutions have never been in higher demand. We also wanted, with the release of our salary survey, to talk to you about the new engineering calculator that's available on our website at electronicdesign.com. The calculator will provide you with the average salary you can expect to make based on your personalized criteria selection. So again, you can check that out at electronicdesign.com. Thank you, Jay, for once again putting together just a a wonderful survey. Thanks, Nancy. We're glad to hear that things are still happy, if not a little bit stressed, in the engineering world.